Hello and welcome my Cantonese clob robbers. It's SJB here and while you're collecting your free chest, your free five banana farmers and your free five balloon bots, make sure you do something for me. Click the little slick creator support protection, type in SJB and hit confirm. Appreciate it so much guys and uh, have fun. It's finally here, banana farmers. So I don't know the exact value. Oh, look at this, you can get five banana farmers for free guys. Definitely click that button. Heck yeah! And then beyond that, five banana farmers are going to cost 200 monkey money or 40 monkey money each. Seems pretty reasonable, I guess. I don't know how ex how easy it is exactly to get uh, monkey money because I have 48,806, but I've been playing since uh, basically the dawn of Battles 2. But you can get a better value for your money if you buy more banana farmers. So we can buy 50 banana farmers for only 1,500 monkey money, and that to me just seems amazing. Look at that, dude. I'll never need more banana farmers ever again. Let's buy another 1,500, or another 50. Oh, we have over 100 banana farmers. That's easily over 100 games for us, if we're even clicking that delicious farm button. So today we're going to be looking at the banana farmer and deciding whether or not this guy is going to give us an advantage in the game whatsoever. Um, I want to, first of all, just test out the banana farmer, but then I want to test out the banana farmer with something like a submarine and see if that submarine is going to magically get advanced intel or something like that, because if so, that will give you a tactical advantage in the game. Um, I don't know that necessarily that is a horrible, horrible thing, but it definitely will play into the game at least a little bit here, because Ninja Kiwi, one thing about them, uh, specifically about this game, is they are trying to go very hardcore with the fact that this game is very even for each player. They've gone as crazy as, uh, you know, changing the monkey ace uh, fly pattern to be able to be reversed. Um, they've be boomerangs, the ability to throw with their right hand or their left hand, and they've gone through a lot of weirder hoops in the game just to make sure that all of that is fair amongst different players. They've even tried to do different things with uh, uh, the maps to make sure that they are even on both sides, even if they seem slightly uneven based on different situations. So Ninja Kiwi is going hard. My question is, are they still going to keep up with that uh, kind of idea? Are they still going to go hardcore, or will these banana farmers give us a huge advantage? Well, I don't want to go too deep into that yet. Let's first of all just check out by throwing down a farmer. So first of all, uh, I see no uh, range on this guy. Um, he does not seem to have a range at all that I could see, at least. That's pretty weird. Um, it does make me wonder if he is a global range farmer. That would be pretty wild. Like, impressively wild. Let's see if these uh, bananas are going to get sucked up. Alright. I can't. I didn't see any bananas happen yet. Okay, so he sucked up this banana for sure. It takes like a little bit of time. Oh, they do! Automatic! What the heck is this, dude? What the heck is that? Oh my god, we're gonna have to look into that thing, dude. I have no idea what that is either. Anyways, um, all right. Well, global range. I mean, it makes me realize that I don't think that subs are gonna have a, a, an advantage or anything like that because this global range is not necessarily a range itself. It's just like, it will suck up the bananas. That's intriguing. This is one of the most wild changes to the game. Um, that's uh, that I've seen in a long time to be completely honest but it means that now going a bottom path banana farms which is a pretty common occurrence for me is not necessary Nece necessary necessarily the case anymore for us we don't need to do it um, we can go top paths now easily and for the minuscule amount of monkey money that we spent on this guy like I totally worth it dude a hundred games for 1500 monkey money that's not much at all to me um, for other players, that might be a pretty decent amount if you're saving up for other things, but for me, it, it just, it's like, meaningless. Alright, Banana Plantation is currently up already. Um, that means I'm gonna go for, uh, oh, he's got a big rush coming out against me here. I might have to boost this, we're gonna see. I, I got kind of greedy with my Nene Farms, man. Alright, it's not horrible, we lost some lives, we're just gonna throw Pat down so we don't have, oh my god, pre-gen pinks, who does that? Who does that? Weirdos, that's the answer. Weirdos do regen pinks. He's still doing it, dude! Oh my god. Alright, and now a pink rush against us. Regens on top of that. Uh, that makes no sense, though. That That's like an idiotic rush at this point. Like, sure, I get the, uh, the original, like, few regens just to see what's gonna happen. After that, you're wasting your money, man. Alright. Um, banana plantation number two. Oh yeah, you can see them bananas just flowing out over there. 
Delicious. Delicious. Delicious! This is pretty epic, dude. This is gonna change my game style, uh, completely. Um, like, completely, completely. Alright, we need some defense here. Let's get a mortar going. We're gonna go for the camo detecting, um, signal flaring mortar here. It's actually kind of good that we didn't have, uh, uh, those reds popped because I did not have my defense ready. Worst case scenario, we're going to sell a farm and go for a maelstrom. Hopefully that's not the case, but uh, got to leave that option available to us. All right, he's got a pretty good defense over there. We're not going to be doing any rushes. We're going to chill for a while. We're going to farm, dude. Let's see what these farms can do. When we go top paths and don't have to pay attention to them. Yes. Actually get to focus on the micro at hand. So... Uh, just to be sure with you guys, the three types of banana farms, they kind of make sense without farmers. Uh, like, the top path is technically the most, usually, the best in general, but you have to specifically go out of your way to grab those nanners every single few seconds and or, at the very least, every round. Um, oh, here we go. We got a decent-sized rush coming out. I think we're going to be able to get a Maelstrom up in time. You know, let's just try a pad ability here. Nope, pad ability does not work. Maelstrom a little on the late side, but we do take it down. Uh, we can continue on with... Oh, that's actually a pretty bad rush for us. We have to Maelstrom that as well. All right. Decent rush. Another rush coming out, dude. He's going to force me to sell and rebuy again. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to go for a slightly better defense just in the bottom down here. And I think this will be good enough now. Uh, we're going to keep the Maelstrom just for emergencies. All right. That was a little uh, little scary there, but he wasted all of his money. Oh, a Moab coming out. All right. All right. I don't know if we'll be able to afford an overdrive in time, but at the very least, Pat is here to save the day, bro. Smack them mo whoops! Alright, we got overdrive. That should be good enough for us. But again, let's just confirm with the Strom. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Three Moabs, he's got nothing for us! And we keep on spamming some Nanners. Alright, so I feel like I am being sort of mean at this point. Um, I, I don't really see a, a wide open rush that I can do against this guy. But just knowing them defending literally every single thing he's throwing at against me makes me feel a little bad about the situation. More Moabs, dude. This is insane. They're not even reinforced or anything. Just regular old Moabs. All right. Regular old mobs. The mobs. All right. Well, I want to get a banana research facility and confirm that this guy can continue to grab bananas even at a fourth tier value. Uh, so let's wait it up. He's probably going to be aggressive still, knowing that he pretty much has to be aggressive at this point when he has no money. Um, more regen rainbows coming out. It looks like without even needing anything extra, we defend those as well. Yeah. I could possibly see a surrender coming out from this guy. Um, another big <laughs> regen rainbow rush. He just does not know how to wait, dude. This one's slightly larger. Look at all the nanners. Oh, my God. That was a quick one. And we get a mana research facility as well. My defense really isn't that great, though. I mean, I've only got a third-tier mortar. Um, yeah, it's just it's just all right at best. Am I fighting a bot or something? I don't know. This just seems so weird to have him do this against me. Okay, so crates also do get absorbed. It's good to know. I would assume fifth tiers also get absorbed. I would assume that uh, banks do not get automatically uh, done up here. But we shall see. And then, of course, this banana farm doesn't matter. It's going to automatically collect uh, uh, just by itself. So um, it does not need the banana farmer. It's still just going to make money over there. Makes sense. But let's check with the, both types of monkey banks here, top paths and bottom paths. Just kind of see what the heck's going on. Um, if this guy does decide to rush me, I think I've got an okay defense. But I, I'll, I'll need more. Um, I think my best bet is honestly just go for a tax run at this point. $24,000. Honestly, for me, isn't that much money. But I do have to watch out for DDTs, believe it or not. I don't have the best DDT defense. Um, and I want to I wanna still focus on doing all this random crap, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right, we got a BFB coming out. 
All right. I think we'll be okay, dude. I think if we just maelstrom through a bunch of the lower layers, we should be all right. Um, and then uh, hopefully we'll get a tax zone soon after that. All right. Oh, we got more BFBs coming out, bro. Woo! All right, we're going to go for a Super Shram instead. Um, I'm a little afraid, to be completely honest with you guys. Here we go. We're going to go for an early Super Shram. Might have to sell and rebuy, but I hope I don't need to. Super Shram does its job, baby. Woo! We defend everything with ease. <laughs> all right. So still collecting all them nanners. Uh, this is going to take forever to get all this money up, dude. No way it's going to happen. Do not underestimate a super strong. Uh, especially with a pat combo. Like, that just seems really, really good. Alright, so I'm going to go Shattering Shells. I, I guess I, I pretty much need a blue incineration, I think, to make sure that I have enough DDP popping power here. I think. Ooh, look at that. Getting scary here. Alright. Um, might have to wait for the next game on this stuff, because I, I, just, I just don't feel... So Super safe about my DDT popping power. But I guess I could probably get it. Blue Incineration is a, a tower that I like never, ever, ever use. It'd be good to test it out here. And even if I do lose, it's not that big of a deal. All right. I'm afraid, but I'm going to do it. We're selling. Here's the Blue Incineration. So we're going to leave it uh, kind of on, on the map here, actually. Let's see if he decides to rush me with anything. And whether or not this guy can actually defeat DDTs at all. I don't know. I would assume that he better be freaking something here. I just can't guarantee it, obviously. Alright, so he's selling... Oh, there we go. DDT does pop out. It does get D-DDT-ified or something. And it looks like, yeah, we do take it down. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was a reinforced DDT. So that actually is not that bad. Not that bad at all. It's a tower that I don't use very often. And it really is burning through these balloons, dude. Let's check it out against a Moab. Uh, difficult to tell for sure how much damage it's doing, but seemingly overall okay. All right, he's probably going to die to natural Moab soon. Um, he's already losing a lot of lives here. He's got Quincy abilities and everything. Trying to keep him in the game here because he keeps trying to rush me. Looks like the banks are getting close. We might actually see uh, if this banana farm is going to do anything for that guy. He saved. Ooh, look at that. Tells you how much money he's made. Uh, which is weird, because it says he's making lots of money when this guy's actually making the money. So is this just the total money made overall? Hmm. Hmm, intriguing, intriguing. Alright, so I just want to survive one more round here. Hopefully this guy survives as well. That'll get us to, uh, uh, bank territory here. Full banks. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm, all I'm doing right now is just testing out the banana farmer. That's all I really want to do for you guys. Come on, give me that last round. Give me that interest. I'm ready for some money. Don't forget, Balloon Generation is also microable. I don't think he'd be very good against the bad balloon, but uh, against a uh, pretty good amount of DDTs, I think we could probably survive. Okay. Money. Oh, it's still not full, dude. These things are... I forgot that they're so big. What do they get? 13.5, I think? 14.5? Might have to wait another round. Alright, but I don't want to wait another round. I think I need a tax zone, dude. This is going to get kind of wild here. Uh, we're doing okay, but of course the Moab's now significantly more powerful. Pat, though, dude. Oh, and there it goes! He loses a bunch of lives. And there we go. We do get it. We do get the automatic collect out of the banana salvage one, but we do not get the automatic collect. Uh, oh, I never bought the greater production. Whoops. I do not get the automatic out of this thing. So that makes sense. All right. Fair enough. Banana farmer. You're not. Uh, you're not too OP. At least not in this book. All right. I think it's time, guys. Let's take this guy down. Quick three DT, DDT rush, and that's gonna get him donezo. I feel a little bad about that. <laughs> feel a little bad about that defensive game right there, but I. Uh, we gotta give him a good game for that. I'm sorry, man. Um, I didn't mean to walk all over you. I wish I could play ranked games, but ranked games are, uh, uh, out of commission right now because it's the new season. So let's do one more game and, uh, see what we can do with this banana farmer. So straight up, what do you guys think about the OPness of, uh, 
uh, banana farmers. So far, I mean, knowing that you don't need to put them, like, right here, knowing that they have a very small footprint, look at this. I mean, you can basically put them on top of other towers here. It's kind of curious. Um, like, I would not mind just throwing a banana farmer in the bottom corner down there. I won't be, but, uh, it would not be the end of the world to do something like that. Um... The last test for us, though, is, of course, the submarine. I don't think it's going to do anything, because if you actually look at his range, it's, like, so unbelievably tiny that, like, you can actually see it. You know, it's like a sniper range. So unbelievably tiny that it should not affect the game at all. But, uh, you know, weird things have happened before. Or broken things have existed before. So we, we have to at least at least test it out. Don't want to assume. Um, I'm actually assuming that it's not broken, rather than it is broken. But I want to test it out anyways. All right, um, we are starting to struggle a little bit here. I'm going to go for at least my fast shooting first uh, and my even faster shooting, and then I'll get my sub flowing. So this guy's also got a pat dartling gun combo in a seemingly weird spot. This pat spot is is just bad. I'm, I'm sorry. There's there's two cross paths over here, and you're going to pick a random last-ditch cross path. I don't get it. All right, so we got our two banana farms going. Let's build our sub. Uh, we're going to build one sub over here, and we're going to build another sub over here. This one's going to be our nuclear sub. This one's going to be our advanced intel sub. So let's go uh, advanced intel here. Again, assuming that... Uh, 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 it's kind of hard to tell, actually. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to... Oh, so after you build one banana farmer, you cannot build another banana farmer. So you cannot just spam banana farmers all over the screen. Noted. Uh, it's, yeah, I, I, oh my god, I kind of, like, completely misplayed this as far as, like, testing this out and seeing if it actually is going to, um, give us that extra range here. It looks like this guy is... I think he is. I think he is giving global range. Um. Look, he's shooting down here when the balloons are down here. Holy crap. That's pretty wild, dude. That's pretty wild. Um, yeah, he's totally trying to shoot down there for that global range. If I put this guy on last, is he going to shoot down at these guys right here? And it looks like he is. He's not shooting right here, which is the edge of his range. He's shooting at the balloons as far back as they can go all the way back in the corner here, I think. No, it does look like he's shooting him in the range. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a bad map to test this out on. Um, especially with the banana farmer kind of over in the corner here. I mean, it doesn't really matter that, like, he is where he is at this point, but uh, just noted. I was trying to tell with the balloons leaving the map, but that's very difficult to make that happen without uh, actually letting them leave through the map too much. All right, I guess we're getting greedy over here. Uh, if he rushes me with purples, I'm probably done. Probably done, so. But we'll see, we'll see. So we're just sports 750 bucks these days. What? Look at that range, though. This is like the perfect map for this sub. Oh, I don't have any lead popping power! Dang. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this guy. Go for the uh, reactor. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I screwed up. I screwed up! I screwed up big time! I'm still alive, though, even while screwing up big time. So that's pretty wild. All right, can we just kill this guy? Let's just go for a kill rush. Uh, let's go for a big chunk of rainbows here. If he survives that, we're going to go for an even bigger chunk of rainbows with some regens mixed in. All right, he does have an ice shards. So that's actually going to help him out a pretty good amount. All right, so now that I have a decent amount of lead popping power over here, I actually think I'm okay. Let's just swap this spot. Let's go this, this, this. And... Let's try for a weirdo white rush. Let's see. Ice shards is good, but not all powerful. All right. Got a good amount of shards going through. The question is, can we overwhelm with consistent whites? Seems to be overwhelming, but not good enough. I don't want to go for an all-out reason rainbow rush or something like that. Like, that could be devastating. All right. Let's try pop in a couple random ceramics in the middle of all this. If anything's going to kill him, it's probably going to be those guys. But the ice shards are going to be pretty uh, pretty dangerous for the ceramics as well. It's almost like helping him by doing these instead of just nothingness. All right, looks like we're waiting for Moabs, man. 
Uh, I don't think we can take him down with this stuff. We have a decent income still. It's not the end of the world. We could still do a comeback. Even through our uh, random accidental wrong cross paths here. We will survive. We will survive. All right, it's Moab time. One and two Moabs. No balloons in between anything because that's just going to give us Ice Shard something to Shardify. And I don't want that. Uh, we might go for a secondary rush here. He's going to go for a pad ability way too early, possibly. But I guess it actually makes sense. The pad ability next to Dartling Guns, you're just powering up the Dartling Guns. Okay, I get it now. I, I, I respect the pat spot. I respect it. There we go. More balloons trying to sneak through. And we get... What are that? One life? No lives? No lives? He survived? Good for him. Good for him. All right, let's get some more banana farms. This game's going. Decently late game, bro. It's going. Uh, I think our next best bet is... You know what? Let's try the reinforced mobs. Let's go for a double dose here. I'm being fairly aggressive, but I feel like it makes sense in this situation. He doesn't have that much going on for him. Uh, maybe we'll just kill him. Kill him quickly here. Uh, a bunch of regen balloons in the middle of all this could cause some problems. Could also help him out. So we're going to go for just a couple. I don't want to go too crazy here. Try to keep them separated from the uh, uh, Moebs. We do a decent job there. Some balloons still trying to sneak through. Ice Shard still doing a great job over there. One Moeb with almost full health here. Getting to the near, near back end here. And with a pat smack, he sends it back. Gets a nice startling gun upgrade. Balloons are going to sneak through. Will it be enough to kill him? It is not enough to kill him. Oh my god. Like, dude, well played, I guess. Well played. Alright, we're going for a BFB here. He's got a weird setup, but it is working. In all the weirdest ways. Alright, I don't have much Moab Pop and Power on my side. We're gonna go for a Maelstrom and just uh, survive this out for now. I also never built Pat for some reason. I'm not really sure why I did that. Here we go. Let's strong through these balloons real quick. Now we got Pat up. Hopefully he's gonna level up nice and quick here. Um, and then we're also going to go for a, uh, uh, an overdrive. Alright, BFB looks like it's going to go down pretty easily, I think. I think he's going to struggle against his, oh my god. I think that's going to be what, what's going to kill him, so let's go for it. I'm not even going to go reinforce, just regular, oh my god. If he can survive that, then dang. Uh, good on him. Good on him. Alright, singles, oh my god, as soon as I got the money. A double dose or a triple dose would be better, though. And he got greedy, he went for a middle, uh, he went for the, uh, uh, eco village here. Alright, I'm gonna go for a second, uh, so oh my god, and maybe even a third. This is gonna be the kill rush. It's gotta be the kill rush. It's gotta be. Alright, second, so oh my god, coming out. He's gotta get more defense up. He will not survive with what we cur he currently has. I'm not gonna do any balloons, just so oh my god's here. We gotta watch for counter rushes. We still got a lot of money saved up over here, about twelve thousand dollars. He's starting to sell stuff. He sold the village. He's gonna go for a bottom path, fourth tier dartling gun. It's kind of a wild play. Not upsettingly silly though. If all you got is ice towers and dartling guns, I mean that's kind of like the play you have to go for. And here we go. We're going big here, boys. He's still going pink income. That's how. That's how positive he is. He thinks he's gonna survive this thing. I don't know, dude. I'm not sure. I believe it. I am not sure I believe it. This is a lot of balloons he's got to take down. Uh, we're going to balloon boost it. This is the first, oh my god, right here. And look at that. Why was he setting up pink balloons? Why was he setting up pink balloons throughout all that? All right. Well, that's where we're going to end it for today, guys. Uh, Banana Farmer is in the game. That's exciting. Uh, quite game changing, to be completely honest with you guys. Like, this, this really does help you out and make it f so you can focus on doing other things besides collecting bananas. And it gives you a pretty big advantage. It really does. And here's the balloon bot. This, oh my god, freaking balloon bot. This breakthrough in synthetic, blo synthetic balloon technology takes all the hassle out of sending balloons for income. Just tell it which balloons to send, it'll keep up a Oh! <gasps> no way! This thing is ridiculous! Oh my god, I gotta show this off in the next video. I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy a bajillion. Oh my god, yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme! If I could just click a button and have him send it out forever, that would be so delicious. Maybe that's what he did. He sent out a balloon bot and just had it send out pinks. Like a silly goose. Oh, and we get five, five free ones. Yay! Alright, well you get to go check him out here. Anybody can check him out, even if you have zero monkey money, which is kind of exciting. Alright! 
Um, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you press that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.